Welcome to a video from the GCLifestyle.com. We have a new Windows 10 build to look at. This is 16179 for PC. See down the watermark down here. It's a Redstone 3 build, although not specifically called out as Redstone 3. It is, in fact, Redstone 3. Um, there's a mobile build room released at the same time, but they're on a different build numbers for mobile. That was 15205, and I'll have a separate video for that. So what's changed in this for Windows Inside as well? There's not a lot, as you expect. This is only the third Redstone 3 release since the creator's update has been released uh, April 11th, and it's still rolling out, in fact. So there's not a huge amount to see uh, on here. There are a few uh, nice... Uh, uh, tweaks and a uh, lot of fixes. The, there's been a, there's an option to uh, introduce automatic checkpoints in uh, Hyper-V, so your VM clients uh, automatically get uh, checkpointed, so you can restore restore them from uh, a previous state. And there's something new called power throttling. Now, power throttling was actually something that was introduced on an earlier build for a while. I think it was 15.002, and um, there's this is a temporary name as well, I should say, but the idea of this is as tabs are running in the background or as uh, applications, not just tabs, but applications are running in the background, uh, Windows will better manage those uh, to reduce the battery usage. And they say 11% saving in CPU power when they tried this in previous builds. Now, I'm on a Surface Pro 3 here and it doesn't have a, uh, this enabled. You need a 6th gen or later Intel core processor. Um, so this is not that, so that's why I can't see that. Although that they are introducing that to other processors as well as development goes on. But the idea being is that Windows better manages the background tasks and you should get improvement in battery life. Uh, I actually have a separate post on that which you can see on the digitallifestyle.com. There we go. Okay, so what else has changed? Well, they fixed uh, Project Centennial apps, which means that um, apps like... Um, I've got a Project Centennial one, so like the Arduino, I think it is. The Arduino, Arduino, there we go. This is a what's called a Project Centennial app. So if you don't know, that means it's actually a Windows desktop app that's been converted to run in the Windows Store or run via the Windows Store. On the previous build, this would just uh, cause the PC to bug check with a green screen of death if you did that. So that's been fixed. They've fixed an issue adding Hindi language. Uh, they fixed an issue with desktop icons would some, sometimes move around and auto arrange. I didn't see that myself. They fixed an issue with group policies, um, to dis which disable a lock screen. They fixed an issue with um, previous from uh, an issue caused by previous flights where multi monitor and projection configurations would fail depending on the hardware. And this uh, could have affected Surface, uh, Surface Book, and so on. So this is where you can go in there, and look at that. Maybe we have a little bug there. Nothing's happening, but that's where you can go to project, and um, and then you can project your screen. And they fixed an issue with that. Uh, interesting to see there that the Action Center is not working. Um, let's see if I can open it that way. No, actions has not working, so that's a potential issue with this build. And uh, they fixed an issue with the uh, location icon continually on the taskbar after the first time Action Center was opened. Well, it can't even open Action Center. Known issues. Uh, there are some people are having issues with getting some updates were cancelled, and there's a, a blog post around that. <laughs> Interestingly, that uh, that's carried over from the creator's update. Uh, double clicking the Defender icon doesn't do anything. You've got to do right click and open. The Surface 3 will fail if you've got an SD card doing it when you're doing the update. Uh, make sure you take your SD card out. There's some F12 developer tools issues, uh, some Chinese language issues. And if you go to um, settings, update and security, Windows update may crash. Now that is quite important because that's how you get the next build, but um, they do say that you should give it a, another go and it will work. Um, See, that one is working fine on mine, so no issues with that. And the save dialog box may be um, broken in several desktop apps, and they're investigating that. So those are the changes. Not a huge amount at this stage. The throttling stuff is interesting, and hopefully that'll get uh, enabled to more builds, uh, more processes, so we can all try that, and it marks off on your feedback from that. 
And uh, that's about it. But uh, make sure you check all our recent build videos. You can go right back to the very first preview of Windows 10 on our YouTube channel and also all the mobile builds as well. Thanks for watching this one.